Good morning and welcome to Thursday, May 7th episode of What's Up with Mr. Beck. I can't believe it's already May. Uh, guys, know that every single day I miss you. I know that like I'm nagging a lot right now about like, did you turn in your character yet? And I know I'm giving you a CNN sign and I know I'm making you work, but just know that I'm proud of all the work that you're doing. You're doing amazing stuff. You could do more if you wanted to. I'm not going to, that doesn't mean I'm giving you more work. However, I do kind of want to talk about grades. So that's how I'm going to kick off today's show. We're going to talk about grades. So uh, it's not very different from before, but like maybe, you, maybe uh, some assignments are under different categories. So I'm going to call the 5% homework grade. What is in that, Mr. Beck? Well, that will be your CNN tense. That would be your, today's episode was brought to you by. So those things do affect your grade. So if you continuously don't send them to me, starting next week, I'm not nagging for them. I'm just going to put zeros in, okay? Because if you don't do your homework, I send you a checklist every day. I tell you, I send out an email on Teams. I put it on Twitter for your parents. I'm giving you all of the effort. I'm actually going to even put it in the show. So you know what your work is. You got to make sure you do it. So first one's 5% is homework. That's your CNN 10 and today's episode was brought to you by. Then there's 25% classwork grade. That would be your Monday and Wednesday assignment. Um, that's always due. Monday assignments due Wednesday. Wednesday assignments due Friday, always 8 p.m. Um, I do take them late. I don't mark them. I don't mark them late um, as long as it's within reason. Like, I mean... 10 days is a little bit much, I think. Um, there will be a quiz or a test sometimes on those Monday and Wednesday spots instead of a homework, but I'll make sure that you know that this one is a quiz. Okay, the next thing we have uh, is tests. Tests are coming soon. That's still going to be 40% of your grade. So to go over 5% homework, which is your CNN 10 your what's up uh, with Mr. Beck was brought to you by 25% is your Monday and Wednesday assignments. 30% is a quiz, which could be PowerPoint projects or an actual quiz. And then 40% is your test, which is coming soon. Okay. So that being said, we're done talking about grades. Let's go into good news. Hit it, Amelia. All right, Jada. It's good news is my good news is my brother had an amazing birthday. We had a surprise part parade for him. He got lots of presents. We designed a cake for him that was really tasty. Overall, I think this was his favorite birthday. I'm sure it will be a birthday that he remembers. Here's a picture of all, him with all his goodies. Then we've got Molly. My good news is that I made a cake for my mom for Mother's Day. Also, I finished making my mom's shirt from our cricket. Ooh, what does this shirt look like? Wait till Mother's Day to show me, though. I don't want her to, to see it. Miss Titus, yesterday I got to go outside and play with my dog and enjoy the sun. It was it started off a little cold, but then it did get a lot better. It looks beautiful out right now. Maybe it's another day to go outside and play with that dog. Michaela, my brother and I were doing or origami yesterday. My dad, my brother, and I played skip bow. I don't know what skip bow is, but it sounds like fun. And then that is today's good news. My Northwest Tri Project by Kaylee Dutton. Weather. The weather in the Northwest Tribe weather is mild. This means that it is warm and cold. Landforms. The landforms is dense with a lot of forests and mountains. Lifestyle. They had houses called longhouses. They could fit many families in one. They also put up mats for privacy. The longhouse gets as big as 50 feet. Like I said in the weather, it's mild. When it is warm, they wear less clothing, but when it is cold, they wear more. 8. Fish, they boiled, then they let them dry in the sun. They also ate whales. Did you know they used every part of the body? Tools. 
They use a dip net. This is a big bag with a twig rim. They also use a weir. This is wooden trap. It lays across the lake. There is a big hole. This is used for water, but it's not big enough for fish. Art. They made a totem pole. This is wood carved and painted. This shows all family's history. So let's go into the CNN 10. That is a homework assignment for today. So today on the CNN 10, a preview of an upcoming space flight, a virtual beach vacation on the Caribbean island, and a drive through yearbook in Kentucky are today's subjects on the CNN 10. Today's episode of What's Up with Mr. Beck was brought to you by Max Rebo. Okay, today's precept, hit it. Today's precept, every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. Trying. Trying is the toughest, one of the toughest things in this world to do is to put your full effort into something. To not just do it halfway, to not give it your all. Trying. That's something tough. In everything that you've ever done great in your life is because of something you tried to do. Keep trying. Keep working harder. Be awesome. All right. So before we close the show, I want to go over what your to-do list for Thursday is. You're going to watch What's Up with Mr. Beck. Guess what? If you're seeing this part right now, check. It's already done. But I do want you to make sure that you are sending me who's... Uh, who brought you today's episode of What's Up with Mr. Beck? You simply just have to go into Teams and type in the name. That's it. And I'll just give you a like. Good job. Okay. Then turn in the CNN 10 for May 7th, 2020. Before 8 p.m. Also, if you did not finish your uh, assignment that's due, to, uh, that's due tomorrow, make sure you're watching What's Up with Mr. Beck from Wednesday to do the assignment. Okay, the first 10 questions are the same because they're the 10 vocabulary questions that are going to be on your test. So we're going to keep that going. All right, so that's today's episode of What's Up with Mr. Beck. As always, hashtag choose kind, hashtag stay awesome. I miss you guys so much. I can't, I wish that we could be back together. It breaks my heart every single day. But as always, Mr. Beck. <laughs>